the brand new 16 inch MacBook Pro is going to be getting the M3 Max, what has 40 GPU cores inside. I want to share with you all the details about this and I also want to give you the latest on the 16 inch MacBook Pro release date and price with that M3 Pro and M3 Max chipset inside it. So as we know now the M2 journey is near its end. Most devices that are expected to get an M2 to the M2 Ultra have now been rolled out. WWDC showed us Apple rolling out the last chipset what was that M2 Ultra. It has also been over six months since we got the M2 Pro and the M2 Max upgraded into the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro. These chipsets provided about 20 to 30% more power than the M1 Pro and the M1 Max for CPU and GPU. Then we got about 40% more faster for machine learning with the neural engine speeds. Looking forward to the next generation of the 14 inch and the 16 inch MacBook Pro, it's unlikely that we're gonna get any sort of big design changes, but the main changes will be that chipset inside it. So I'm talking about that M3 Pro and also that M3 Max. So with this going forwards, a lot of reports you will see here will be either for the 14 or 16 inch MacBook Pros and most likely the reports are for both the models. Apart from the odd few bits and pieces like display changes, battery sizes, wattage and maybe a few other specs too. But today let's focus on how many cores for CPU and GPU we will get inside the M3 Pro and also the M3 Max. Well, we've had a brand new report coming from Mark Gurman telling us exactly how many cores to expect in the base model of the M3 Pro. He has said that we're going to be getting 12 cores for the CPU and also 18 cores for the GPU. Now, we'll remind you again, it is the lowest spec M3 Pro chipsets he's talking about here. So the lowest M2 Pro chipset out there has a 10 core CPU and a 16 core GPU. So already we're gaining two additional cores here for the CPU and the GPU compared to the lowest spec M2 Pro over the M3 Pro. Of course, the highest spec M3 Pro and the M3 Max will have even more cores. And then Mark went on further to tell us that for the M3 Max, he expects to be getting 40 GPU cores inside this and this is absolutely fantastic and to be fair it's also quite expected too it seems like this is Apple's new approach they're going to add in new cores all the time to the CPU and the GPU as we know already basically for the CPU sort of bound apart from literally probably the M3 Ultra the normal M3 Pro and the M3 Max will have the exact same amount of CPU cores option to pick from but for the GPU cores, this is where things will change completely and also video encoders, decoders and things like that. You may get two of those with the M3 Max and then obviously with the GPU cores, it's going to be double the amount of range or even more than double the amount of range that we'll get inside the M3 Pro. But to have 40 GPU cores, that is really, really impressive. Considering that just with the M1 Pro, the maximum that we could get with that or the M1 Max even, which is 32 cores and two generations later, we have eight cores more and obviously we're on that three nanometer die and also it's a far more efficient chip too and also faster clock speeds this is super super impressive however i will also say at this point that not all leaks and reports are 100 proof they'll be coming true in the new macbooks as i've said in loads of other videos too i can only present to you what i've been told and shown like what you've seen here today however if you are watching this video still then you're as curious as i'm in knowing what's going to be said about the new MacBooks anyway, no matter if they come true or not. So with the latest reports out of the way, let's now talk about the release date. Then after that, I'm going to talk about this channel's giveaway that is happening very soon. And then after that, I will also talk to you about the specs that we're going to see inside the 14 inch MacBook Pro and also the price too. So starting with the release date, with Apple's journey basically complete, apart from the iPad Air and the 24 inch iMac missing an M2 chipset, every other Apple Mac and also the top range iPads have the new type of M2 inside it now. Apple is likely to start from the bottom again. So I'm talking about the initial 
M3 first, then after we'll get the M3 Pro, M3 Max, and then finally the M3 Ultra. So with this in mind, the new M3 chipset will be in the, say, the likes of the 13 and 15 inch MacBook Air, a new 13 inch MacBook Pro, and also the iMac before any other devices that will get the M3 Pro or the M3 Max. As the 15 inch Air only just got introduced in the summer of 2023, it is unlikely we'll see any upgrades with an M3 at least now until spring 2024. So with this, you're probably wondering why it's going to be spring next year. Well, most likely it's because of Vision Pro that was introduced or first shown at WWDC 2023. And this actually has an M2 chipset inside it. So I don't think Apple will be introducing any M3 chipset devices until this is released, what is going to be early 2024. So the M3 chipset, it may come at spring or it may come at WWDC 2023. 2024 and then with that we may get the m3 pro and the m3 max maybe at wwdc 2024 if we get the normal m3 in springtime or more likely it will be in the fall of 2024 we've had multiple reports that apple are going to be using three nanometer dies on their m3 variant chipsets and it looks like this is going to be starting production at the end of 2023 but the first three nanometer chip will actually be the a17 that will go into the iPhone 15 Pro models first. With all of this though in mind though, the exact date is still a little bit up in the air at the moment. But like I do say, I think it's more likely the earliest we are going to see an M3 Pro or the M3 Max is summer next year at WWDC 2024. But there again, it could also fall into the actual fall of the year and that will happen as well at the end of 2024. So there is a little bit more time we're going to have to wait to get our hands on that. So then guys, just quickly, we just had the announcement of the latest giveaway on this channel and it was a live stream event and we had lots of fun on it and we also have three winners too who are super happy with their new prizes that are being sent out to them. But the great news is we're doing another giveaway, what was also announced. And that new giveaway is for these three prizes right here. So this time I'm going to be giving away some AirPods Pro to one lucky person. And I'm also going to be giving an Apple Watch SE as well to one lucky person. And then on top of that, the best prize of all I'm also going to be giving away to somebody is an Apple Watch ultra and in fact i've taken it out of the box and it's actually here so yeah apple watch ultra here and there's one on my wrist too so you can join the club with me for the apple watch and all you have to do to enter into this giveaway is put down in the comments below of what apple gear or what technology gear you're hoping to buy in 2023 put it down in the comments below and also at the same time make sure that you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because we're going to be announcing who the winner is of this brand new giveaway in September time, probably at the end of September after we've had the iPhone 15 hype and everything like that. So the end of September time most likely is when we're going to be doing the giveaway for these three prizes and you don't want to miss out on that. Now what I will just quickly say though guys, there are lots of scammers, there are lots of spammers out there. Some of them even still impersonating myself, telling you to WhatsApp them or Telegram them and also part with your money too for shipping. This is not me. I'll be sending out these prizes free of charge by shipping so please do not go into these cons of these spam artists and like i said it also is going to be a live stream event so any sort of prizes that they're talking about so you can get your hands on right now it is not true and it is not me and with that guys let's return back to the video so with the latest leaks and rumors out of the way and also mention of the new giveaway too let's now talk about the actual specs we're expecting to see with the 16 inch macbook pro with those enhanced chipsets inside them and let's also talk about the price too so as i've said before the main difference with the macbook pros these larger ones is definitely going to be the chipset this time round. but with that you are still going to be getting that 16.2 XDR Liquid Retina Mini LED display what comes in at a 3456 by 2234 resolution and this will be a ProMotion display at 120Hz. This is the same display that we have in the 16 inch 
M1 Pro and M1 Max and the M2 Max and also the M2 Pro 16 inch models. Then for storage, things are not really going to change that much again. It will be starting at a 512 gigabyte storage and this will go all the way up to 8 terabytes if you want to get that. But the M3 Pro and the M3 Max, the cores are going to be the main differences here as well as the 3 nanometer die it's going to be made on. So we'll probably be guessing with the M3 Pro and the M3 Max 12 or 14 core CPU and then around between 19 to 44 core GPU was absolutely amazing to see inside this chipset and it's going to give us amazing performance with that. For actual RAM, we'll have the choices between 16 gigabytes on the M3 Pro all the way going up to 96 gigabytes of RAM, what you could choose for the M3 Max. The actual body will be made out of aluminum body or what we say here in Britain is aluminium. And then the ports will be again the MagSafe. We'll also get three USB USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, we'll also get HDMI 2.1 again and also that SD card slot. We will still also retain that center stage webcam, it will be a 1080p camera still in that sort of notch design and battery life probably will go up to 22 hours again with this brand new MacBook Pro. Prices on the new M3 Pro with a 12 core CPU and they say a 19 core GPU and 16 gigabytes of RAM and 520 12 gigabytes of storage is probably going to set you back at the usual sort of price that we have right now of 2499 US dollars. So there we have it guys that is a summary of the new 16 inch MacBook Pro and as you can see the main change it's just M3 Pro and M3 Max inside it but one thing that I would also say though on my thoughts and wishes what I'd love to see when the M3 Pro and the M3 Max MacBook Pros come out is that Apple retain keeping the M M2 Pro and the M3 Max 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros or at least just the 14 inch model with the bin CPU inside it and the bin GPU. At the end of the day we have this right now with the MacBook Air so for example we can get the M1 MacBook Air and we can also get the 13 and 15 inch M2 MacBook Air and I'd love this ability to be available for you guys and also for the price to be a little bit cheaper on that bin version of the 14 inch MacBook Pro. But that's my thoughts on that. Do you think that Apple should do the same? I would love to know. And also on that note, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, please also make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell too. Until next time, guys, I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.